Come on, jump, 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 jump. In this video, you're going to see some helpful tips on how to land a tarpon as quickly and efficiently as possible. We were down fishing in the Keys with Captain Mark Hollywood Johnson, always a thrill in itself. And we hooked into a good tarpon. We got the camera rolling as soon as it bit. It did a quick jump. And what Mark did is he, he shared some really helpful tips and tactics for, again, making sure that the tarpon can get landed as quickly and safely as possible. Big benefit to us as well as to the tarpon. So here's the footage. Woo! If he jumps, if he jumps, point the rod. If he jumps, point the rod. All right, we're motoring after him, so stay tight on him. Yeah, so how to put that rod in your hip, earn your bruise, wind down and lift up. You can palm the spool with your finger just a little, but make sure you let go if he wants to go. There you go. We're only in eight feet of water. You never thought it was so deep. That fish will dig, he'll pull hard on you, he will not make it easy. Yeah, they pull, man, these mean the average fish here is between 80 and 125 pounds. So you can't fish them on light gear, you gotta fish them on some 30. And they get around the bridges and the pilings, you can really get yourself in trouble. So, good work. Yeah, he only jumped one time, so if he doesn't jump, he's going to fight you really hard. Eight feet of water. I'm not going to get worn out. He's just cruising. Yeah, he'll pull the boat around. Trolling motor's off. He's pulling the boat around. Trying to get a little bit of that sunset. There we go. Welcome to the Florida Keys. Ooh, baby. Yeah, so you always hear about the whole down and dirty and how to fight the tarp. And so the basic rule of thumb is if he's going one way, you pull the other. Traditionally, if you can break the spirit of the tarpon, what that means is fight him so hard and aggressive that he wants to give up because he won't exhaust himself to no end, then you can catch him. Walk back here. Go all the way around. Do not let that line touch the power pole. So if you fight the tarpon and give him too much, he will fight you till he exhausts himself. So it's important to keep the pressure on, pull all the right times when he, he gives it to you with his head shakes and things. If you can break his spirit, you catch him in 15 minutes, then he, you can release him and he's healthy. You try not to ever fight a fish for two hours. There we go. There we go. Nice work. Tarpon is the number one inshore fish here in the Florida Keys. No other inshore fish draws the amount of attention a tarpon does. People come from all around the world. Go, go right to the float, right to the float. Wind down to it. Up and over if you need to. I thought we were going to get a jump. There. I thought we were going to get to the bobber and just get a good release on him. Ooh, roll him over one time. There you go. That's a good sized fish here, Bubba. Mm. Come on, jump, 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 jump. Woo! Damn, come on. Facials by the Silver King. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> he saw them man hands coming. He didn't want any of that. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> ah! That's refreshing. Ah. You had your glasses. No, yeah, I just took them off because it's getting dark. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, That's a good sized fish. He's a good 100 pounds or so. Get a good peek at him here. Woo! Woo! Here he comes. We're going to roll up here. Give me a nice lift. There he is. Beautiful. That's as good as it gets, right? There. Okay, go around the front. Let's go around the front. Lift up and go right around the trolling motor. Up and over. There you go. Beautiful. So that's a good trick there too, folks. Okay, anytime your fish tries to change directions and go around the boat, a lot of folks try to go to the back and you have the motor and power pull and all these things, but reality is if you can go over the trolling motor in the front, it changes that angle for you really quick and a lot less obstructions in the water. He pulling that, you guys see him pull that boat, that trolling motor's off, he is pulling the 24 all the way around. He put some water in this boat, man, that was... <laughs> so it's eight feet deep and he's digging to the bottom and on 30 pound braid, you can't pull that fish up. That's how strong these fish are. 
Not another boat. Sunset. It's 8.15 at night. Come on. Earn your bruise. Be like a postcard. Here we go. We get a shot at him right here, maybe. Come on here with the head up. Nope. Yeah. He's digging, man. He is not giving in. There's the float. Wind to the float. There you go. Caught fish. Nice. Let's lift him up easy. See if we can get a jump right here. Woo! Look at that. That's a nice fish there, Bubba. <laughs> Woo! You're going to get my shower in. Woo! Yes! In the perfect release. Look at that. Here, so to give you an idea how much pressure was on that, that fish was hooked in the button, which is the top of the front jaw right here, right behind your two big teeth. And all that pressure, we still caught him, but he did straighten that hook a little bit. Yeah. And if you look up close, you can see that the barb on that razor sharp owner is a little bit waffled. That tarpon has an amazing sharp uh, not sharp, but stiff, rock-hard mouth like a bucket and an all bone plate inside and trying to stick that hook in there, you can see what happens. That hook is completely out of service and it earned its keep. All right, great yeah. job, my man. That fish was over 100 pounds. We got a couple, minutes, yep, 12 uh, minutes yeah. of fighting that thing. You did really good on 30-pound braid, no less, which is why I tell folks you can't come down here with light gear and think you're going to catch one of these big fish. All right, good job, my man. Good time. Fantastic. All right, well, thanks so much for your time and watching that video. I hope you enjoyed those lessons from Mark. If you have any questions or any feedback on, on how, to make, you know, how to make this even better, please leave a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the, the biggest online fishing club for saltwater anglers, and we have two big, bold guarantees. Number one, we guarantee that you're going to be catching more fish than ever before with the exclusive tips tactics and strategies that you get every single week. And then number two is we guarantee you're gonna save a ton of money on all the tackle you need to go out and catch inshore saltwater slams every trip. For more information, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.